big C. Here we go. Welcome to tuba class number seven. We are in week four of our tuba classes. And Pixie's got some friends here for Easter. I don't know if you can see these chickens she's got here. I'll give you a close-up later. These are chickens and their eggs for Easter. Hello, everybody. And uh, how are you all doing out there in this um, isolation thing? It is now the fourth week for me since my orchestra has uh, closed down temporarily, unfortunately, while we all uh, go into isolation um, until this world situation gets better, hopefully, as soon as possible. Anyway, let's get into the tuba playing. I've got more and more and more requests for low, low, low. So I'm going to take you through some new low playing exercises. With Pixie, she, she's deaf, but she loves the vibrations, so she'll probably stay here for most of the class. Um, but first of all, let's do some uh, breathing exercises. And for this one, I can hold a cat. It's quite good to hold a cat. Uh, cats are good company, especially when you're all alone, all right? I'm not really all alone. I'm here with my fiance, um, but she works um, in a hospital, so for old people. So I do tuba for you guys, for us. This is our thing, all right? I'm enjoying this. Now, this breathing exercise is different than breathing exercises in the past. This breathing exercise will incorporate the meditation component as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on counting the air going out rather than in. All right? So we're going to just take a big, big, deep breath, and we're going to count 10 counts, and we're going to let all the air out. And when we get to count number 10, push it out, and then just relax, and your lungs will fill with air. And what will happen is, since you're going to push out all your air on count number 10, when you relax your lung muscles, the atmospheric pressure will push the air into your mouth and you will take a natural, easy breath. And this is a breathing exercise to teach natural breathing. All right? So here we go. We'll do this several times. You can close your eyes if you'd like. And if you have a cat, who's old and doesn't want to run away, I suggest you pick up your cat. It's very therapeutic. All right, here we go. So we're going to take a big breath first, and then I will count by snapping 10. All right, here we go. Feel that? I feel my belly coming out. Not just because I've just had a big lunch or early dinner. Actually, I eat four or five meals a day. We'll talk about that later. All right? My tummy's coming up because I'm filling up very much with my bottom part of my lungs first to get that dark sound. Let's do this a few more times. Breath in. Remember what that feels like when that air just comes in naturally and then you fill up and the air goes out like it's a big sigh. Again, we're using the weight of air. This is physics. This is atmospheric pressure. The same air that keeps an airplane in the sky. All right? So by using this air, just like an airplane uses the air to get into the sky, we are going to move that air for ourselves so our notes can fly like a plane, all right? Or an eagle, whatever you want. Okay, here we go again. All right? My 
my sweetheart is home. So hopefully she'll either say hi to y'all or she'll just discreetly go um, past and cook me dinner number two. Second dinner. Shh. All right. I love you. Here we go. Another big breath and out on ten. Come on in, sweetheart. We're in the middle of class. Sorry. There she is. That's all right. We're going to do three more of these, and then we'll get on to tuba plan, all right? If the cats run away, it's because they think that they will also have dinner number two. They already ate. She's happy after she's fed. All right? Here we go. Two more like that, then we'll get into playing. And the last one. Make this your best one. Deepest with concentration. Only think about the air and how you're feeling which should be all great. Here we go. All right, one more for me because I got too excited to take the air in. One more. All right, and on the 10th beat, it's really gonna go out. I only did nine and then came in. This is live, and I'm not perfect, and being perfect is not the goal of life. To be the better version of yourself every day is the goal, and improve on things. So I will improve on this and blow out on count 10 and then in. Here we go. Great. Now since the cat has left, I think you want to see the chicken, because it's Easter. Here we go. Say hi to the chicken. Ha <laughs> ha. You all like chicken? Uh, health tip. Health tip. These are little eggs, egg holders. Um, this represents, by the way, five eggs. Count. Five. They're empty because I eat five eggs a day. So what I do is I eat three in the morning when I wake up, after I've done exercise, of course. And then I have a second exercise session in the evening, and then I eat the rest of the eggs. Very good for you. Lots of vitamins, lots of vitamins, and the protein goes into your system faster than any other protein, which is natural, provided by nature, provided by these friendly people. All right, people, chickens. And it's Easter, right? color day time. Now, let's get into some low tuba playing. What we're going to do today is we are going to do some descending build a scales. So, as you remember before, we would do build a scales ascending. Ball, 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 ball. This time we're going to do it the other way. Boom, 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 boom. But we're going to start with C. Or whatever no open note you have. It's a B flat, it's a B flat, it's an F, E flat, whatever is your open note. All right? Let's just check in with our air movement with tuba. We did the breathing exercise where we let the air out over 10 counts, and we took a breath in. So let's check 
check in with the tuba, and let's apply that to the instrument. So what I want you to do before the descending scales is just to sustain a C for 10 counts with the air in, so the sensation will be similar to what we did in the breathing exercise. All right? In on four, on beat four, I mean. Inhale on beat four, and then 10 beats for the note to play. All right? One, two, three. two or three more times. One, two, three. Descending build a scale. Build a descending scale. Starting on C for the open note, as we discussed. Moving down. Here we go. Always breathing on B4. One, two, three. teaches you to do very fast scales, ascending or descending. All right, again, C. Big sound. Think of your adjectives. Think of the colors you want. Dark maroon, blue, golden. What's the color of your sound? Silvery, whatever, okay? Think of a color. And think, have that color in your mind when we play this now. Group, group. Two and three to 
the last one on fourth bell. All right. Pause the video and we'll come back for one more exercise and a little life coaching chat. Welcome back. Now, the next exercise for going low is going to be a repeat of what we did a couple weeks ago, but I like to repeat some of these because it's good to keep going. Now, some of these exercises it's fine to do on one of the 20 classes and then just leave it. And then it's up to you to apply that to your routines if you think that helps you. But there are also some things that I bring in time in and time in and time in and time in, which means every other class, every three classes. All right? And so since we're working on low notes, we're going to go back and repeat this one, but in a slightly different pattern. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. And we're going to start on the same fundamental open note. Go as low as we can play. Then I'm going to have a little chat with you. And then we will conclude this class until class number eight on the weekend. All right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Take the air, use the air. Take the air, use the air. It's air, air, air. Fill up and blow it out. This is all, all also where you can practice your sneak snatch breathing. You'll notice I'm going to demonstrate for you breathing quickly between all these little notes. This is what you need to do in the orchestra, in bands, etc, etc. exercise because we always have to exercise especially when we're indoors I'm gonna to have to move the chicken in her corners for this one and I've got my uh, assistant coming I think Here she comes hello again yes you like chicken too she loves chicken it's also very good for cats chicken we're gonna do some jumping jacks all right, now this exercise called jumping jacks is named after one of my mentors and heroes who's passed on. His name is Jack LaLanne. Now, how many of you know that jumping jacks is named after Jack LaLanne? Look him up online. Look at some of his YouTube videos from the 60s and 70s. He was a muscle man, bodybuilder, uh, Mr. Universe, not Universe, he had the uh, champion for the most amazing back muscles. Anyway. Jumping jacks is what we're going to do. In Australia, they call them jumping stars or something like that. Um, we're going to have to get you out of the way for this pixie, but you can monitor it from here if you would like. Okay? We're just going to do some jumping jacks here. You probably not see me. I'll probably go out of view of my head, but you know how this goes. We're going to do 20 jumping jacks. I know you how they, I know you know how they go. So here we go. And Pixie, you are our cheerleading squad. Thank you very much. All right? 25 jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, we can go forever. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little bit of a jumping jack competition this week. Between now and next class, I want you to all see how many jumping jacks you can do in a single go, all right? In the middle of your practice session. Now is a good time to pick up the tuba. Okay, here we go. Now, we're gonna have a chat. And this is going to be a life coaching tip, and it has to do with making a routine. So this is serious now. These days, we've been quarantined or in isolation now for nearly a month, some of us. And life can become very, very challenging that you're inside all the time. You no longer go to your regular job or you, your u university or your school, and you're stuck. So the most important thing to get you going and to become the best version of yourself in these times is to make yourself a routine. And I have some suggestions for that. Number one, set a time to wake up always at the same time, every day, five days a week. For me, that's between six and seven. Okay, it's a vague time. It can be in a window. Between six and seven, I wake up. And I spend an hour stretching and meditating, and then I go for a uh, a run around the block, which we are allowed to do here. If you're not allowed to go outside, don't do it. Only if you're allowed to in the country you're living in, all right? 
Uh, otherwise, I do uh, horse, horse, horse dances. Do these, these things for 10, 20 minutes. Uh, we'll get into horse dances in, in the next, next class, all right? Um, for 10, 20 minutes, uh, exercising my legs, lunges, whatever. So I wake up between 6 and 7. And then I do an hour of stretching, meditation, exercises. Then I go take my shower and I eat a very, very healthy breakfast, which is usually oats, eggs, spinach, berries, with a little bit of honey, espresso coffee, no sugar, no milk. And then I finish off with some green tea. And then I drink a ton of water, ton of water, ton of water throughout the day. Then around eight or nine o'clock, I go to work. Now, my orchestra is, is off for months, unfortunately. I cannot go to my conservatory to teach. So when I go to work, what do I do? I practice my tuba. I work on my life coaching business. I prepare videos. I go online and have meetings and teach lessons. Uh, for those of you who teach, I'm sure you have um, lessons that you're giving online. You're a student, you're taking lessons online. But anyway, make a routine for yourself. You get up at a certain time. You have your shower at a certain time. You eat a nice big healthy breakfast and then you have something that you do for three or four hours and begin a day that's always the same. For me it's giving online lessons, preparing for these classes, or working on my life coaching business which is including finishing up my studies. I've never been more occupied or busy than I have been these days. Then I have lunch and then I have afternoon of giving lessons online usually. Then at about five or six o'clock I finish and since we are allowed to go outside I go for an hour, I go for a run, five, ten kilometers, whatever, power walk or I do David Goggins uh, Navy SEALs routine for an hour and then I eat more eggs and then I wait for my lovely wonderful life partner to come home and then we have dinner together and if you are alone and you're not with a special person, make an appointment to have Zoom dinners. This is another thing that I recommend. Organize parties on the weekends with Zoom or Skype or something like that where you're with your friends, you have your favorite drink, you have your favorite meal. Your weekend is to rest, um, but Monday to Friday, schedule. Keep the schedule, have a diary, write it down. Write down the times, write down what you're doing, and you will get into the schedule and you will find that your moods and your levels of happiness and fulfillment will, will increase infinitely. And help other people who are down. Spend time with them on the phone, online. This is the time where the world really needs each other. Reach out to people in need, people who are alone, people who are down, and bring them up. Let your positive energy give them positive energy. All right, that's enough lecturing on life coaching. Write it down, write it down. Keep a journal, keep a diary of your tuba practice and of your life life coaching tip from Life Coach and Tuba Coach Steve. All right, I'm gonna go have dinner now. It smells like it's ready. Thanks for joining and we'll be back with you lesson eight this weekend. Bye for now.